يلا يلا We're here in India because for years we've said we have to come to India and we've kept putting it off and putting it off and now we've quit our jobs, we have time and so we have time to spend exploring India. Okay. But we actually live very close, we live in Dubai, uh, it's only a three hour flight away but for many years the only place that we've visited in India is Ladakh uh, to do some walking in the Himalayas and you know we think it's time that we got to grips with India. Two years. Yeah. All right. I was there. Yeah. Ah. You'd like speak Arabic? Shui, shui. Shui, About 20 years ago, I was working for a company in the UK who had a, a factory in um, Dubai as well, and, and I was asked if I wanted to move there. So, so we moved there in 1992, um, and then in, and Angela was working at the same company for a while. Um, and we just grew to like the place. Um, back then, it was a lot quieter than what it is today. Um, but there's still plenty of things. There was plenty of things to do there, and we we enjoyed living there. Dubai is much better. Yes. Yeah. Many people ask me that question, yeah. and um, the interesting thing about living in Dubai is that it is a very open and very cosmopolitan country, um, and very accepting of um, you know people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And um, in uh, my line of work, which has always been sales and marketing. In actual fact, I've always uh, worked mostly with people who are either from Europe or from the States mm -hmm. um, and from other parts of the world. But um, but really, the Emiratis that I meet also, many of them have been educated um, in Western countries and um, so are very much more, you know, in tune with um, you know Western attitudes to women. Mm -hmm. Well, the very first long trip that we took was to, um, to visit a friend who was working in Malawi in um, southern Africa. Um, he was teaching there, so we went to visit him and we travelled in Malawi and, and in Zimbabwe. Um, and I think and that, that was back in 1991. I think at that time we got our first taste of, well, you know, travelling. It's actually quite enjoyable. You know, the opportunity to see so many different countries and experience different cultures. And it's just sort of grown since then. I mean, that is one of the joys of travelling, really, is to try and learn about um, other people and other cultures, you know, and, and as, a, as a person living as an expat in another country, um, because you've taken the opportunity to understand more about other people's, um, you know, concerns and challenges, um, it makes it much easier um, to be empathetic um, with other people that you work with and to be more tolerant. In terms of dream places that we want to go to, there are, there are still one or two places that, um, uh, and some of these are scuba diving places that we want to go to yeah, uh, yeah. in the world. But I think our dream is kind of like just to, if, if, we, if we could have a dream come true, it would just be to continue traveling for the rest yeah. of our lives, you know, and, and not have to be tied down by work and, or even not, even if we weren't working, not to be tied down in one location, but just to mm. keep moving, to keep mm. seeing different things, and yeah. uh, and even going going back to places that we visited before, which would be great great to see. Yeah. Yeah. But we do we do need to get to Easter Island sometime soon. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and Colombia. <laughs> <laughs>